Tonight, there are big developments in the case of Tommy Ziegler. The Winter Garden man has spent 47 years on death row for murdering his wife and three others. Yeah, and for the first time since Ziegler's trial in the 1970s, the state of Florida is seeking to test evidence from the crime scene. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is breaking this story, and Mike, this is quite significant. It is, Ginger. Tommy Ziegler's attorney confirms that until now, the defense team has been the only ones who's ever tried to get evidence tested. A judge recently granted Ziegler permission to test DNA evidence at his expense. But now Orange Osceola State Attorney Monique Worrell wants to use taxpayer money to conduct her own examination of fingerprint evidence. 47 years ago, Tommy Ziegler was sent to Florida's death row for the quadruple murder of his wife, his in-laws, and a customer at his family's Winter Garden furniture store. Ziegler supporters question his conviction, saying there were many problems with the police investigation and trial. Now, Orange Osceola State Attorney Monique Worrell wants the state to test fingerprint evidence collected back in the 1970s. In this newly filed motion, Worrell is asking a judge to release select pieces of evidence for latent print examinations. That evidence includes fingerprint samples taken from the four victims. Those prints could be compared to latent impressions left on a cigar box lid found in a pool of blood at the murder scene, as well as impressions from the passenger door and the fender of an Oldsmobile that Ziegler may have driven that night. It needs to come to closure. Circuit Court Judge Patricia Strobridge recently approved a request made jointly by Worrell and Ziegler's attorneys that allows Ziegler to conduct DNA tests on dozens of pieces of evidence. That DNA testing, which is underway right now, is being done entirely at Ziegler's expense. But when it comes to the new fingerprint examinations, Worrell says it will be done at the sole expense of the state attorney's office, which she estimates will be about $2,400. As prosecutors, we uphold the law. Worrell's office tells News 6, quote, the state attorney's commitment to conviction integrity compels her to perform a holistic review of Mr. Ziegler's entire case. If the new DNA testing being conducted by Ziegler's team leads to future action in court, Worrell says her office needs the ability to respond. If Ziegler is in fact guilty of these murders, that testing will do nothing to assist him, says Worrell. If he is not, all who care about justice want to know. And I know the district attorney, state attorney in, in Orlando thinks that you don't prosecute people. The state attorney believes Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to find a reason to remove her from office. That's concerning to Ziegler's attorney, who calls Worrell a good prosecutor, telling News 6 she's seeking the truth, and God bless her for that. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody previously opposed Ziegler conducting the new DNA tests. In response to this new request for fingerprint exams, Moody's office says, quote, Worrell acts more like a defense counsel using taxpayer resources to advance the cause of a quadruple murderer found guilty more than 45 years ago. So they obviously are opposed to Yeah, some competing forces there. Mike DeForest, keep following it for us. Thank you.